We return to the new movie musical Nine, based on Fellini's classic Eight and a Half, in which Daniel Day-Lewis plays a charismatic movie director looking for his lost muse among seven extraordinary women, all of whom agreed to sit down and talk. It didn't take long for the paparazzi to gather outside the Plaza Hotel. And the question on the table? Was two-time Oscar winner Daniel Day-Lewis intimidating to Sophia Loren? Am I scary? <laughs> you are a little bit intimidating when you, we have to do something together. I mean, for me, I don't know for you. Well, I don't know. In what way? This why? is my person. Let's change the subject. <laughs> no, oh, I'm liking this subject. Let's change yes. the subject. But why? Why? <laughs> Because he's intense. Well, <laughs> because he's very, very much intense. I must say, it, it's kind of. Uh, it saddens me to think that, that, that any part of one might be intimidating because, apart from anything else, it would be completely. It would defeat the scene. It's like going out onto the tennis court with Federer. That's just what it is for everybody. Oh, well, so you know, say, do you play better when you're playing with someone who you respect and admire and who you think might be a little bit better than you? Or do you play better when you can dominate? It's not a thing of coming out and somebody winning. It's not to do with that. It's to do with having a relationship with a person you're acting. And the more wonderful the person is, the more wonderful time you have. Because it brings out in you exactly what's required. It means that your job isn't, isn't so hard because you, you have it from the person who's standing in front of you. Directing a movie is a very overrated job. We all know it. You just have to say yes and no. What else do you do? Nothing. Maestro, should this be red? Yes. Green? No. More extras? Yes. More lipstick? No. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. It's directing. That's right. That's directing. I want to ask each of you, because obviously it was a very special experience, what you learned about yourself in the course of making this film. Nicole? Yeah, just the spirit, the idea of coming in and working hard and it paying off. It just reminded me again of what, why I do it and why I love to do it. You don't know what you do to me. You don't have a clue. You can't tell what it's like to be me looking at you. You had the baby with you. Yeah, yeah, that which was around. great. But that's a lovely thing when you've just had a baby. She was six weeks old and I got to come back and get a taste of being an actor and then also still being her, you know, her source of food. These muses, they fall in love with the man. Exactly. I think for me it was also being reminded that no matter how fearful it is, that, that it's invariably rewarding to go into the unknown. I would like the universe to get down on its knees and say, Guido, whatever you please, it's okay, even if it's ridiculous, we'll arrange it. But it's always, it's always in the unknown that you find the greatest reward, I think. And the fragility that you feel in those moments is um, an incredibly invigorating thing. And it's that vulnerability that, that, that gives you uh, the, the joy in the work, really. When it came down to doing the work, I was working with a group of dancers that were so incredible. And we were doing this number, and, we, and, and, and there, was one, there was one particular take. There was a collective hoot and holler at the end because we all nailed it. That exhilarating feeling of nailing something that you've worked so hard for together. That's why I do what I do. You want my glove? Are you in front? You want to see it slip away and watch it fall? I think it's... It might have been the first time I'm, uh, that I was in an environment with so much love. So much love from you and from, well, all of us. It was my dream to do a musical and, uh, since I was four years old. And my dream it became a dream. I have to say, it was such a joy every moment with this cast. I couldn't believe we assembled this amazing group. Here, here. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>
<laughs> I can tell you the story, I can tell you uh, who I'm going to cast, the music I want to use, I can tell you everything. But I won't. I'm afraid that if I say anything, the word might get out to the press. <laughs> As Guido might say, enough talking about the movie. Go and see it. Yes. The film opens nationwide on Christmas Day.